Good morning, folks. We have just a few things in focus today. The corona hole is bigger than anticipated. There's something heading at the sun. The earthquake swarm continues in the Atlantic, and we've got two papers on space weather forcing as well. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and while we did have a few flares and filament releases, none produced major CMEs, none are heading for Earth. The coronal hole appears to be very long, extending back to the limb further than we could see before. Its magnetic fields are connecting with Earth now, and its solar wind should arrive by the middle of the week. We will be watching. But today, we're watching the sun diving comet. It can be seen here coming up from the south on SOHO coronagraphs, and it should reach the sun by tonight or early tomorrow morning. Trajectory suggests it has a chance to survive and whip around, which is always an amazing sight. Should be good watching this evening, and I'm excited to see if it triggers more CME events like previous sun diving comets have before. Folks, that earthquake swarm on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is still ongoing. Several more shakes hit the same area, and we will continue to monitor for something bigger, either there or to the north at Iceland. First up in the articles today is this. We've had so many studies this year on solar forcing of precipitation patterns that this really shouldn't be surprising anymore. A bit of background to all of them is that the sun impacts El Nino, the Hadley cells, jet streams, and monsoons. So... We should expect it to be a rain factor pretty much everywhere we look, and they do. The other science news today is a good study on the best markers for cosmic ray impact on human health. They're trying to determine what's the best way to measure dangerous exposure for pilots, and they have decided it is chromosomal anomalies and aberrations, a sign of how much these pilots are being impacted. Just one more day here until our store closes down for the holiday season. My newest book and All Cats Children's books are available. We'll reopen, as always, at the start of the new year. And don't forget, we'll also be kicking off 2024 in Phoenix, so grab your tickets to that longer, in-depth event with special guests. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.